Hi, I'm Brett, product manager at Wilson Pro, and today we're going to be talking about plenum cable. Um, at Wilson Pro, we have two different types of plenum cable, LMR 400 plenum and Wilson 400 plenum. Um, both cables come in 500 foot spools and can be used in installations with Wilson Pro boosters. So one of the first things you probably want to know is what is plenum cable? Um, plenum cable is a special cable that has a fire resistant jacket and what this jacket does is it burns at a higher temperature so it, a fire doesn't spread through a building quickly and it also lets off less toxic smoke when, it's, when it does light on fire and this is good because if the building does catch on fire then it's not going to spread the fire quickly and it's also not going to pump this toxic smoke through the your air ducts and through your air system into the, all, all across the building. So it's, it's really important to use when it's required, and so you need to know when it's required and when you're putting the cable in a plenum space. Uh, the easiest way to figure out if the, if the space is a plenum space is to walk around, find a air intake vent up in the drop ceiling. Um, once you've located one of those, you can hop on a chair or a step ladder and pop open the ceiling tile and look up into the ceiling. And if you see a duct going back to the air hauler, then it's not a plenum space, that's a closed air system. But if there is no duct going back to the air hauler, then you are in an open air system and it would be a plenum space and it will require a plenum cable. Plenum cable must be uh, tested. It passes a rigorous testing by a nationally recognized test lab. Probably one of the most common ones that most people have heard of is UL. But there's several other places that will verify the cable. And what they do is they'll, they'll do a bunch of testing, lighting it on fire, um, and putting it through a lot of different circumstances to see if it's going to not produce this toxic smoke and also not light on, on fire quickly. Um, by using plenum cable, you're going to be ensuring that you're not spreading toxic fumes through the building and also making sure that your system is to code for that building. And now I'm going to get to the most important part of the two different types of cable, which is the performance, and specifically the attenuation of the cable, which is the loss that happens um, of your signal across the length of the cable. And just as a reference, lower in attenuation, the better. Um, so we have the two different types of cable, LMR 400 and Wilson 400. Um, the LMR 400 has a little bit lower attenuation, so it's a little higher performance cable. And the LMR, or the Wilson 400 cable is a better price point so depending on the type of job you're doing you may use either type of cable. Using the LMR 400 cable you're going to have 5.7 decibels of attenuation over 100 feet at 1800 megahertz. If you're using the Wilson 400 cable you're going to have 7.2 decibels of attenuation over each 100 foot section of cable. And what that essentially means is the difference between the LMR 400 and the Wilson 400 is about 6 decibels. Um, which is significant and is something you want to consider when it's deciding what, what type of cable to use. Um, if you're doing a system like a, a Wilson Pro 70 and you have one donor, one server antenna, you may only be looking at um, two to three decibels of difference of attenuation between the two different types of cables, which can be a lot more manageable depending on the outside signal strength and the different um, factors contributing to the installation. Um, so really, to decide what cable works best, you just need to understand um, what you're giving up or what the, what the loss is on the cable and understanding how much, loss, how much attenuation you can handle in a system and picking the cable that will work best for the job that you're doing. As an example of about the difference between the two different types of cable, let's say that you're installing a Wilson 4000 booster system. Um, in this system, you would be using three server antennas and a donor antenna with a 100-foot cable run in between the booster and each antenna. Um, using the Wilson 400 cable, you would have 7.2 decibels of attenuation for each run at 1800 megahertz. Using the LMR 400 cable, you would have 5.7 decibels of attenuation for each 100 foot run. Um, what this means is with the LMR 400 cable, you would have 6 decibels less loss, uh, uh, 6 less decibels less loss of attenuation um, using that cable over the Wilson 400. Um, that 6 decibels is significant. That's lower power and um, power that you could be using in different parts of the system to boost your cell phone signal. So you need to understand when you can use each different type of cable. If, it, if it's an installation where you're putting in a Pro 70 system and you just have one run of cable uh, to the donor and one to the server, you're only going to have two or three decibels of attenuation using the Wilson uh, 400 plenum over the um, LMR 400 plenum. And in that situation, that attenuation is acceptable. So. 
With the plenum cable, we're also going to be offering some tools that make it so you can field terminate the cable. This is important because you don't want to have to, you, you don't always know the length of cable that you're going to need on the job site until you get to the, to the job site. And so with these tools, you can make custom lengths of cable on the site. Um, we have a cable prep tool, and what this does is it strips the jacket back just a perfect amount, and also the dielectric, and it deburs the, the conductor, so you can get a really good, solid, and secure connection. Um, we also have a crimp-on connector that can be used in the field to terminate on-site, and a crimp tool, and that just crimps the connector onto the cable, and with those tools, you can be able to make custom lengths of cable on the site that will work perfect for your system. For more information on Plenum Cable, click the link in the description, and for more great videos like these, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.